Yo, 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 I found some terrific fungi, mainly basidiomycetes, and I'm thrilled to share them with you. I'm located at Whitting Wilderness Park at the Red Rock Canyon Hiking Trail in Lake Forest. Just because something is edible or medicinal does not mean you should eat or use. Things like contaminated soil could cause more harm than help. Do your research. And also, I suck at botany, so if I made a mistake, let me know in the comments below. Here we go. I knew it when I saw it. This is our western jack-o'-lantern. I can't tell you how long I've been dying to see a bioluminescent mushroom and I finally get to see one in person. Such a score. Unfortunately, the park is closed at night and it will be dangerous. The green light is strongest as peak of spore production. It does have toxins, so I wouldn't recommend eating it. Its seasonality is in the winter, but this is how we kick off our day today. The tall Cyatherella gets its name for its very long stem. There isn't very much info on it, but I can tell that its light brown cap and white stem makes it very appealing and unique. It fruits in the fall. Likewise, the robust bracket has little info on it. It's very smooth, thick, and hard. It's also very big. It looks like a cracked toe. The liver ballette is one of the trendy mushrooms. When you cut it open, it bleeds blue. This is because the variegated acid becomes exposed to oxygen, turning into quinone methide, which turns it blue. I didn't know it at the time, but I didn't cut into it. Plus, I like to leave things alone when they belong, even if it's plucked out. Like the other fungi, the oak loving tritch has some terrible info on it. Its cap is brown that fades into those white coloration. Its gill and stalk is also white. The golden milk caps has a very vanilla white bottom side. It has a zonated cap and is distinguished by its golden and white appearance. Enocybes are very unexplored because it's a very large genus. Many species within this genus cause poisoning by both humans and animals. The most notable thing about Amoeta mushrooms is that they have free gills, which few genus have. This means that the gills never touch the stem. These last couple mushrooms, I have no clue what they are, so here are some jokes instead. Why did the mushroom break up with his ex? Because she was toxic, had no morals, and she talked it too much. Here's a classic. Why did the mushroom go out with him? Because he was a... <laughs> oh, I don't want to finish this one. I'm not ready to embrace my cringe. If there's anything to take away from fungi, is that they're really good at giving dating advice. And that's that. I'll put some more information in the description. Otherwise, have a terrible day.